Hey everyone, this is Blair from Victor Arlock for Advanced Diagnostics. I'm showing you something. What is that? Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's a battery maintainer. It's a 70 amp maintainer and it maxes out at 100. I mean, why would I need that much of a maintainer? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, so you saw my maintainer. And you're like, well, why would I need something that cool? I got a jump box, I got jumper cables. Well, in most cases, that jump box would be fine. You know, a, a, Honda, a lot of, you know, most of your Hondas and Fords and, you know, even like 12 minute waits on GMs, uh, that jump box would be just fine. You know, because you're not really drawing any amps down. Um, I personally don't use jumper cables uh, because I don't want to risk my vehicle. You could have some really busybody car owner coming up. Hey, I'll help you put the cables on my side. Or I don't want you to put the cable. I'll put them on. And they reverse the polarity or whatever. I mean, it's just disaster waiting to happen. And jump boxes, if you don't put them in the correct place, they can slip and fall off if you don't have them on the ground. And once again, if you put it on the ground, you also risk you know, maybe a dog just running by, knocking it over and pulling off the uh, terminal which is not a big deal for most things, right? So, you know, you do that while you're programming a Honda and lose all power, guess what? You just plug it back on and start over. But on a BMW, that's a little different. All right, so most of the time when we're talking to an immobilizer in a car to program keys, that immobilizer only has a few functions. It stores keys, it detects a key that's not programmed, so it won't let the car to start. And it also detects a programmed key and sends a signal to the main engine computer, hey, go ahead and start. On BMWs, the CAS module uh, does a lot more than that. It, yes, it is the immobilizer, but it also operates the HVAC. It also operates the infotainment center. It operates lighting. It does a bunch of different functions. So that's why we need a maintainer hooked up because uh, when you interrogate the car, you interrogate the CAS with your programmer, it activates it and it in turn doesn't know it's just talking to a programmer. It starts to activate other modules in the car and you get a surge in amperage. You know, the, the battery really gets worked. And uh, most of the time we're told 12.1 is golden, right? We got 12.1 volts, we're good. Well, BMW, it's 13.4. And that 13.4 volts, I'm sure that the reasoning there is to make sure that the battery's nice and brimmed and topped off, but it can also help move that amperage, which, because BMWs are very power hungry, uh, flow easier. So make sure that you have that proper maintainer hooked up. Another thing is... Uh, once the process starts, don't stop. Don't unplug it. Don't go, you know, you know this is taking a long time. Let, let me reboot it. Well, we're not talking, you know, uh, a Honda Accord. You know, where <laughs> unplugging things, it just kind of stops, right? You know, like you know that Hondas won't erase keys out. That's the last thing that it does before it puts new ones in. So you're kind of safe. You can just stop, you know, disconnect the battery, start over. BMWs, no way. So once that starts, there's a good possibility if you just unplug or disconnect or whatever it is that you're doing, you can corrupt the CAS. And heaven forbid, if you're using, somebody came in with an extra, you know, one an extra key and they have a driving car, now all of a sudden they don't have a driving car because you've either corrupted the key or corrupted the CAS. And it can be repaired. Uh, but if you're not BMW savvy, this is going to be, at least a mildly expensive repair. Um, and if you don't know anybody, that it's definitely going to be an expensive repair. So let it do its thing. Now we move on to ISTA. What is ISTA? You'll see it. It says, hey, this, this vehicle has ISTA installed. Well, ISTA, you know, uh, or you'll see it as ISTA P. Sometimes people call it ISTAP or ISTAP uh, 3 or whatever. Uh, ISTA is Integrated Technical service application and then the p stands for programming so uh 
It sounds scary, right? Well, what it is is they added these security features so somebody couldn't just quickly plug in and program a key and steal a car. So they've, they've made it a little bit more difficult for somebody to do that. So if you're not familiar with BMWs and you have this where it says ISTA and it's telling you to stop, do not downgrade, right? There, there's programmers on the market that will downgrade and then supposedly you can go back in and program a key. Well, there's all kinds of things that are involved in that. And, and the biggest one is, one of the processes is that it erases and rewrites, right? So if something happens in the middle of that, you know, like the computer restarts or you lose internet or cable comes unplugged or, you know, dog knocks the maintainer over or something, uh, guess what? You got an empty plastic box plugged into the car. That's what happens, you know. So don't do that, okay? Um, but if it doesn't, just follow the rules. Follow the screen. Do not disconnect. It's going to tell you, don't disconnect, right? It's going to do its thing. And then, please, you know, on the selection, don't select the next available slot. Because when you select the next available slot, you're taking away what could be done at a dealer. So we don't know what's gonna happen later. You make a key to the car, 10 months later it gets sold, you know, somebody three states away and they lose a key and they take it to BMW dealer and they order a key and you took the next available slot, say like slot three, BMW doesn't know that. So they order key, the next key, and the next key happens to be slot three. Well, it's never gonna work. So you're just throwing somebody's money away. Some people say it's insurance for you for them to come back, but they don't know who you are. It's just not something to do. So at least, at least move down the line. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks. Peace.